Hello everyone, I'm Ryan Hayashi. Welcome to my studio, Hayashi Dojo, where I am training internally with my team. This is one of our secret underground rehearsal sessions. We've got a couple of couple of guys here. To, everyone say hi! Hi! hi. Okay, good. Now, in behind the magic presentation tutorial one, I talked about the different types of narr narrative. When you script it out, the method narrative, the effect narrative, and then the perceived uh, audience narrative. It doesn't matter music, without speaking, with speaking, you're always communicating something to the audience. And what Patrick here from the Hayashi Magic Academy team will attempt is a special version of the classic cups and balls using only three words in his vocabulary. Ball, if, it, if there's one, or balls, if there's more than one. Magic, when he is making the magic happen. And I've given him the instructions to make the magic happen with the magic wand that he brought today. And then, gone. Those are the three words. Ball, magic, gone. Are you ready? Ball, magic, gone. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> let's enjoy the pain. <laughs> So, while we've got our next candidate setting up to try the same timing exercise, there are two, two gentlemen I'd like to interview. Let's bring the camera to come closer, please. Okay. I, I gotta go Johannes first. Can, can you see him or let's switch places because the, light, the light's coming over there. Can you stand over here please, Andy? All right. Come to me, Dennis and Johannes. You can, now you can see these guys, right? Okay. This. I can say your first name, right? Sure. This is Johannes. He was my first magic student. I met him in 2004 when he was 23 years old. That's 16 years ago. No. Yeah, it is. It's 16 years ago now. And <laughs> you were not the first person to approach me saying, hey, uh, I found you on, what was it, Magic Video Depot? And Something like this. They're like, the early days I was present on, on the internet. Who approached me and asked, like, dude, do you teach anybody magic? Everybody else, I said, no. And what, how did we end up jamming together those years? Um, so at some point in time you said, um, do you own a video camera? Oh, did I ask and, you that? And I said, yeah. And then he said, we're in business. <laughs> 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 Apparently I used to be on a video camera. In 2004, the bar was pretty low to become one of us. No, 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 no. It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't. Because I, I still remember which routine I, I, I fried your brain with. It was the yeah, ambitious card. Right? Yeah, this kid, not at this age, but with a 23 year old younger version of him, asked me, Have you ever heard of a routine called the ambitious card? <laughs> and I said, Yeah, yeah, I've heard about it. That's an old classic, man. Like, only, only like certain, certain <laughs> wizards of a certain level can do that. Here's what it looks like. And the look on your face was like, what, what's happening? What's up? Ah! And you said some insane thing like, that is, that's the most insane magic I've ever seen in my life or yeah. something. Like the strongest magic I've ever seen in my life. And I said, all right, kid, show me what you can do. And I can't remember what routine you, you wanted to show me, but he showed me something. It was crappy. It didn't work. <laughs> but if, if, look, look, look at the friendly smile. And he just projected this, this honesty and this warmth and... and Show the booming voice. He's got this well-trained radio voice. Do you want me to say something? Yeah, see, you hear that? <laughs> so, so I, I, I just... Think that. <laughs> so at least I, I noticed he was a voice guy and he had, had the right way of, of talking. So, all right, that, that's, that's, this, this year, this year is easier, easier to teach. 
So that, that, then we spent some years jamming together, and uh, wow. Eating yeah. a lot of pizza every, every Tuesday night. That, that brings back. And how, how's it now seeing the, 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 the newer, younger guys who are- It's an honor to be here and to, to, to see what this all grew into. It's really, really great. Oh, well, we're having fun. We're having fun. I'm just sharing what I can uh, within this lifetime before I have to disappear and change identities again to hide my immortality. <laughs> so, and then let me introduce little, little Dennis, although he's not little anymore. No, no, I mean, let, young Dennis. Can you remember how old you were when we first met? Yes, I think I was like 15. Wow, that's young. And that was eight years ago, 15 or 16. How old are you now? I'm 27. Wow. So I met, I met him when he was 15 or 16, he's now 27. You, you've done, as with Johannes here, you, you finished your bachelor's, your master's, and you're now working on your, your doctor's degree, your doctorate. Yes. Wow, well, he's done. And, uh, <laughs> wow. And uh, you, you brought your little sister. I last saw her eight years ago when she was 13. I, I, I had no idea who she was when she wrote me on Instagram and said, hey, what's up? <laughs> Haven't seen magic since the last time you showed me some stuff at your place. And then I panicked and then I was wondering, What's, what's up? Okay. So I asked her, who are you? Louisa. And I thought, I don't know Louisa. I said, yeah. And she said, I'm Dennis's sister. I said, ah, who's Dennis? <laughs> and it turns out, said, wow, I haven't seen you in so long. But, uh, so Dennis, at least he came out a couple of times, but then life, life moves people in different directions. You had to do some other stuff like a university education. Yes. And, uh, that's cool. That's cool. But you, Jesus, that's over a decade. So you knew me like way back then. Yes. What's it like to be in the room just seeing me do the same it, stuff? It feels it's normal to me. I guess um, when I first called you, you, I mean I called you, asked you to if you could show me some magic. And then... Um, in what year? What year was it? I, I don't know. I mean I was like 15 years old. What? Well, calculate. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I guess so it was uh, 2008. 2008. Around the time of my second after, after Johannes, my second Padawan, my second student magic was Philip. <clears throat> That's right, you came around the same time as... Philip was also a kid, he was like 13 or 14 when he found me. Yeah, yeah, wow. Man, makes me feel emotional. Okay, are, are you set, Johnny? Uh, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Johnny, thanks guys, thank you, thank you for coming. Thanks, thanks for being here, thanks for being my sister. Okay. So, my son Johnny is now going to attempt the same exercise, the classic dive running cups and balls routine, saying only three words. Ball, or balls if it's more than one. Magic, when it's a magical moment, which means you have to be aware when you're making the magic happen, which we're going to signal with a magic gesture. Not just saying magic, I want to see physically something happen. And gone. Do you want a free choice of magic gesture? No, you go ahead. You want me to choose? Yeah. Any, oh, man. Any, any, anyone. Anyone. Yeah. Well, you, you, just, you just went through this, Patrick. What, it's, it's not an easy exercise, right? No, you, don't have to, you don't have to be humane. Okay. What do you mean? Because I, I know you, so. <laughs> well, in theory, any human who can do this, or this can do it without the stick. Okay. So, without the stick? I want you to signal the magic every time a magic moment is coming with a snap. Okay. Here or here. Now, if your hand kind of waves as you're snapping, that's fine. But I want to see a physical snap and try to coordinate it. Say the word magic okay. when it happens. Now, just because this will end up being an online behind the magic presentation tutorial. Why do we do this? A lot of beginners in magic, something's gonna happen and they do crazy, silly stuff like this. And they're like, what are you doing? Okay, there should be one clear signal. Okay, all right, all good. yours, Johnny. <laughs>
ball, 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 magic, gone, ball. Magic, gone, and ball. Ball, ball, and ball. Magic, gone, ball. <laughs> Welcome to my world. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ball. Gone. Magic. Ball. Uh, exactly. Magic. Ball. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, although in this Behind the Magic presentation tutorial series, we don't talk about the secret moves, the techniques, or the methods, um, he actually surprised me. We were, we were working on a classic routine. All right, uh, keep it running. Grab your stuff, run away. I'm going to try it one time, saying only those three uh, words. What are they again? Magic. All magic gone. Plus... Uh, Wait, actually, no, you did really good using this as the magic gesture, and Johannes gets a free choice of any other movement that I should incorporate in the routine, just to see how I how I can work with a challenge. What would you like to see happen in the routine? Any physical movement that I repeat several times. Mm. Can it be two-handed or just one-handed? Doesn't matter. I'll do. Give me two-handed. You could ask me to do the macarena. You could ask me to moonwalk. Well, anything. Two hands. <laughs> doesn't matter. Strip. Um, two claps. <laughs> two claps. Oh. All right. That's that's gonna be hard. This is, that's, gonna, <laughs> this is gonna be really hard. I will now perform the classic. Hopefully, without without revealing how the routine works. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to attempt to spontaneously oh, perform just the just classic cups and balls. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It just popped into my head when I was My students are realizing, hang on, you can't do that in this routine. I can. Watch. <laughs> I don't know how I'll do it, but I will do it. I'll be fine. Right? Okay. Watch this. Everyone understands the parameters, right? <laughs> to try to make it through the routine, not screw up. Where this stick signals the magic, I only say three words. Ball, magic, gone. Mm -hmm. And I will punctuate with two claps. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love you, Johannes. <laughs> <laughs> kind of hate you right now in this moment, but all right. Here we go. Ready? And it's still running. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> Balls. Ball, ball, ball. 
ball. <laughs> Magic. Gone. Ball. Magic. Ball. Magic ball. Magic gone. Ball. Ball. Magic. Magic balls. Ball, ball, ball. Magic. <laughs> Magic gone balls ball 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 Magic gone Magic balls ball 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 Ball, 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 gone, ball, gone, ball, gone, magic, ball, magic, ball. <laughs> ball, ball, magic, balls, ball, magic. Because Johnny scared me with a surprise ending. Question running through young Johnny's mind is Did Ryan plan to do that the entire time? You planned a surprise? I came up with a surprise? Or did Ryan just superhumanly fast make that happen while spontaneously improvising? Such a philosophical question. I have no idea. It's a good question. Yeah, right. And here's my answer, my young dear insect. I want you to look beyond the darkness that dances behind these eyes, into the unmappable continent of my mind, and ask yourself, what do you think? Now that's the second time you said that today. Not on video. Not <laughs> <laughs>